sleeping. It's okay, just be honest. I, and that's not the situation. Though. What's the situation then? I want to hear what you say it is. Sure. I, I, I was tired. I apologize. I, so you're I, telling I, me you were not sleeping? I, I, I was tired. I'm not, not the, I'm not tired. You know, were I, you I, sleeping I, in this car? I was not sleeping. Okay. Well, you're going to get a ticket now because you were sleeping. No, I, I, I'm not going to argue with you. No. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. No, were you I, sleeping I, in this car? I was not sleeping. Okay. Well, you're going to get a ticket now because you were sleeping. No, I, sleeping in the car while it's in motion. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on! On May 16th, 2021, Deputy Gomez of the Kenosha County Sheriff's Department attempted to pull over a 38-year-old Tesla driver who Deputy Gomez believed to be sleeping in Kenosha County, Wisconsin. Deputy Gomez activated his lights and siren, but the driver did not immediately pull over. After Deputy Gomez followed the Tesla for a little over two miles with his lights and sirens on, the driver finally stopped. He was totally sleeping. Totally. How are we doing, sir? The reason I'm stopping you is I followed you for about two miles and you were sleeping. You were totally like this in the car. Why would we drive like that? I, I, was, I was okay. I was, no, you were sleeping. I, I was a little bit tired. No, you were sleeping, sir. I was upside of you. I was yeah. looking at you and you were doing this. Your eyes were closed. So I know, I understand you have autopilot, but if something was to happen, you're not able to make that conscious decision to stop in a hurry. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Can I get a driver's license? Of course. Have you been drinking or anything like that? No, sir. Okay. Yeah, I'm just on my way to work. You're on your way to work and you're sleeping? Yeah, I'm, I'm just on my way. I'm not sleeping, but I'm, you know, like I said, I was just tired. We had, okay. we had a person call you in sleeping. Okay. And I saw they you They followed sleeping. you from Illinois all the way to Highway 50, and then he got alongside you, and you were knocked out. You man. were like this, with your head pointed that uh, way. Like I said, I'm, I'm, I, was, I'm, I am tired. I'm on, I'm okay. on my way into work. But. I get the auto option, but you still have to be awake and doing things. You're not able to oh, make yeah. a quick decision yeah. I mean, I, if I don't you have, have to. Full, full service yet, you know? I, I don't think it's available for everybody. 241, 244. Okay. I'm going to run your license. I'll be right back, okay? Yep, yep. Hold on. The driver denies sleeping and only admits that he was tired, which protected his ability to defend himself in court. If the driver were to be charged with a crime or traffic offense, the government would have to prove that he violated whatever law he was charged with violating. If the driver had admitted that he had fallen asleep, he essentially would be helping the prosecutor make their case against him, as any statements he made could be used as evidence of his guilt. However, since the driver did not admit to sleeping, and his vehicle did not deviate from its course on autopilot, the only real evidence that's supported Deputy Gomez's belief that the driver was sleeping was his personal observations that the driver was not looking at the road and sitting in a relaxed position. These observations, as well as the fact that the driver did not immediately pull over, could be explained by the driver simply being tired rather than because he was sleeping. By not admitting that he was sleeping, the driver gave himself a better chance of beating any charges that may be filed against him in court. This situation is a classic example of why individuals should not make admissions of guilt to police officers and be careful not to incriminate them themselves when speaking to police. The Fifth Amendment protects citizens from being compelled to incriminate themselves, and this interaction should serve as a reminder that citizens should make use of this right whenever they encounter members of law enforcement. I understand. I, I okay. was tired, and I should have probably pulled over. And you I, didn't, I, I, I had my lights was... and sirens going for about 20 seconds, and you didn't pull over. Then I got behind mm -hmm. you, told yeah. dispatch, you're not acting. You're doing nothing to my lights. Okay. You're still sleeping. Okay. Finally, you woke up and then come over to the side of the road. But I've got a time delay. It's recorded. Cameras, everything recorded. And you weren't doing anything. And I was following you with my lights on. Sure, sure. And sirens, which means you were sleeping. It's okay. Just be honest. And that's not the situation. Right? What's the situation then? I want to hear what you say it is. Sure. I, I, I was tired. I apologize. I, so you're I, telling I, me you were not sleeping? I, I, I was tired? I'm not, not the, I'm not tired. You know, were I, you I, sleeping in this car? I was not sleeping. Okay. Well, you're going to get a ticket now because you were sleeping. No, I, I, I'm not going to argue with you. No, no, I, I don't Okay, no problem. Deputy. All right, guys, you heard it for yourself. So, so <laughs> I, I knew I was going to come across a video like this. Like, seriously, I knew I was going to come across a video like this. That one day a Tesla driver is going to be sleeping behind a wheel while the car is in motion. And I was thinking about what well, all this autonomous talk about truck, you know, about the trucks being autonomous, being that they can drive by themselves. How would that look in the truck? Right? 
So DOT officer pulls up to the side of the truck, happens to look up in there, and then boom, there's nobody in the driver's seat driving the truck. Truck driving by itself. But how would you know what that truck driver is doing? That truck driver could be in the back reading a book, be in the back watching TV, be in the back getting the clap session in. I don't know. But he could be in the back actually asleep. Now, what if, what if that same DOT driver or officer came up on the side of the truck truck driving by itself is an autonomous truck driving by itself going down the going down the way not bothering nobody maintaining the lane maintaining the speed but the dot officer comes up to the side of the window and just so happened notice that the driver is asleep then what is there any law see here's the thing with this situation right here with this young man being pulled over and and the and the officer over here saying that he was actually sleep with the autonomous cars and the autonomous trucks that's coming out and the autonomous cars that's already out is there a law or is there against the law for you not to be sleep while your car is in motion holding the lane holding the speed and not you know not perceived to be doing anything that's <laughs> that's the question that's going to go on for that that's going to come into play now so this young man got, got a ticket for sleeping sleeping now of course as you guys heard in the monologue yes don't uh, don't <laughs> don't uh don't agree to anything that's being said because it can be used against you and by this young man saying yo I, I was tired bro you know i was i was laid back you know i was chilling my car driving and all like that but i wasn't asleep how could the uh, the only thing the officer could go off of is what he perceived to have seen and he can only assume that you were sleeping. But that's not the case because he don't have no legitimate proof of you were sleeping. It's just the fact that he claims that, you know, he followed you for a couple of miles. You know, the lights and sirens. Maybe the lights was on and the sirens was off. So how would you perceive that this young man didn't hear the lights or I mean, didn't hear those sirens? I mean, he, yeah, hear the, uh, the the sirens. Maybe he saw the lights. Maybe he thought that you was going around you, which you which you did. But then you drop back. He didn't know what you was doing. He didn't know what you was doing. And then he. I guess he noticed that you were still behind him. So he decided to pull over. But where's the siren? I didn't hear no siren unless there's no sound for your dash cam. Don't know. He gets out the car. He gets pulled over. He says that you were sleeping. You said that you wasn't. He over here trying to get you to say that you were sleeping. Because once you say anything they can and will use that against you in the court of law they could say that hey we got him to say that he was sleeping so that's what he was doing but let me bring it back to the initial question that i that i'm putting it out to you guys is there a law did he break in he did he break any laws was he speeding no was he was he uh not maintaining his lane no then in actuality why did you pull him over in the first place if the car wasn't doing anything uh that was deemed illegal except for the fact that you pulled up on the side of him you happen to look in his window 
my man relaxing in his car and you assume that he was asleep and then you turn around drop back and then pull him over explain that in the comments because that's going to exactly happen to one of you truck drivers that's driving an autonomous truck one of these days you're going to get pulled over by dot because dot is going to assume that you out of commission or whatever the case think about it think about that while you using this video as a precursor to what could happen if a dot or a trooper happens to pull you over while you driving in an autonomous truck drivers that's my thoughts tell me yours in the comments below there's something in the air tonight got a feeling coming over me i swear that this is that place to be in the water in the, the water in the water